Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand asynchronous serial transfer. So, this is another kind of asynchronous transfer. In our previous class, we have seen two different mechanisms of asynchronous data transfer, which are strobe control mechanism and handshaking mechanism. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what is asynchronous serial transfer? transfer before that what is serial transfer so serial transfer means so whenever uh, serial there are two kinds of transfers one is serial transfer and parallel transfer so the parallel transfer is for example if you want to transfer 8 bits So if you want to transfer 8 bits, uh, all the 8 bits, each bit is go, is transferred in one single line. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So for example, if these are the bits that needs to be transferred, so each bit will be transferred parallelly and the parallel transfer will get directly stored onto the resistor. So this is what we call it as parallel transfer. In the serial transfer, what happens is the line, so uh, the, the wire, through which the data is getting transferred so in that the things will get transferred serially one after the other the bits will get transferred okay so this is what we call it a serial transfer and <coughs> So uh, shift resistor. So here we are going to use the shift resistor. So in order to store this data onto the resistor, we use the shift resistors. So the concept of shift resistor has already been discussed in the digital logic design. If you haven't watched that videos, uh, please uh, watch the specific video on shift resistor uh, in the digital logic design course, which is already present in the playlist course. So uh, in a DLD course. DLD playlist okay so now how the asynchronous serial transfer will happen so this is what we call it as serial transfer so the complexity in the asynchronous system is where to where the data will start and where the data is going to end so in the asynchronous in the asynchronous data transfer system so how the serial transfer will happen so that we will try to understand so there are some this this is how the asynchronous system will be so whenever whenever uh, so initially these are the rules first we will try to understand the rules the way in which the asynchronous, asynchronous serial transfer will happen when a character is uh, not being sent so for example if you press a key on the keyboard press a key on the keyboard so it is going to generate 8 bits 8 bit code will get generated <coughs> so those 8 bit codes are to be transferred serially to the cpu so there uh, in the shift resistor by using the shift resistor that will get converted into that will get transferred into the resistors in the cpu so how how that serial transfer will happen is <coughs> when a character is not being sent so if nothing is there on the key nothing has been pressed on the keyboard uh, the line is kept in one state so the, this wire is always being kept in one state so the continuous one uh, voltage will get transferred in the wire okay the initiation of the character transmission is detected from the start bit which is always zero whenever we press a key that is itself stating it is going to initiate initiate the character transfer so for example if the bit that we are going to the character that we are going to transfer is having a code of uh, this is the code 0101 if this is the character that has been this uh, 8 bit car code has been pressed that character has been pressed on the keyboard so the start bit is always going to be 0 as we have said that if nothing is there it is always going to be a 1 whenever the start of the character happens a 0 will be initiated with that the destination is going to understand that this is where the character starts so we should intimate we should we should uh, uh, tell the destination that from where the character starts so always we are going to start with zero so from there on from there on the destination is going to take <coughs> the character bit always follows a 
the character bit always follow the start bit so the character bits these bits will always follow these bits so from here to here all these bits will always follow a start bit after the last bit of the character is transmitted a stop bit is detected when the line returns to one state for at least one bit time so what happens is after receiving eight bits at the destination the destination is going to count the bits in the sense so whenever the eight bits of the character has been received at the destination so the last bits so these bits are what we call it as stop bits so these bits at least one bit or most of the cases it is going to have two bits two stop bits will be there two stop bits will be there they are always assigned as one after receiving the eight bits the the receiver the 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 receiver is going to check for the stop bits so after two stop bits whatever if it if there is a character to if there is a character then we are going to see if another character is pressed so then it is going to be filled with zero if nothing is pressed means it is going to be continuously one okay so this is how the asynchronous transfer is going to happen whenever a keyboard is pressed the point that you have to understand is whenever a key on the keyboard is pressed so eight bits are generated so with that eight bits extra bits are going to be added to that the first bit is going to be a zero which is called a start bit and the last two bits so most of the cases it is going to take two bits in some systems they may take one bit so this is what we call it as stop bit these stop bits are going to be two bits and uh, uh, whenever the system identifies system receives all the eight bits the cpu receives all the eight bits they will be transferred to the shift resistor so clock generated so for every clock pulse the 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 bits in the resistor are going to be sh shifted this concept has been discussed in the digital logic design course so with that after receiving all the eight bits the last two bits are going to be one so after that if a, if any character is pressed so that will get uh, again it is going to take the start bit as zero if nothing has been pressed means continuously the signal is going to be one so this is how the asynchronous serial transfer will happen okay hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching